Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to combine and unpivot multiple worksheets in an Excel file using Power Query. Now, sometimes you may get files from multiple people and you need to combine those files together, but you also need to do some transformation on the tables. Now, if it's one or two worksheets in the file, that's fine. More, it becomes kind of a burden and a hassle. And if you have to do this on a reoccurring basis, uh, it's gonna take some time. But did you know you can use Power Query to do this? And you can even future-proof this. If more files come into your file, all you need to do is click a button, refresh it, and everything gets done. So let's see how we can do this. So here I'm in the Excel file, and I've got three worksheets, uh, John, well, John, Jane, and uh, Jay Cherie. And these are tables I wanna combine and put together, but I also wanna transform them. I wanna unpivot these columns, Q1 to Q4. So it all comes in a proper table like this, so I can do some further analysis. Now also, I wanna future-proof this. We wanna have it where if we put another tab here, another tab here, let's just pretend this tab wasn't here, this example tab, but another tab here with another name with the same format and we refresh it, it automatically puts it into our table, not in this particular worksheet, but in another file. So I'm gonna go into a new worksheet to get this particular table. I'm gonna delete this particular tab because, or this worksheet because it's gonna mess up my data when I pull it in. So I just have this, these three sheets to pull it in in my new worksheet. So here I am in the new worksheet. You go to data, go get data from file, from workbook. So I'm gonna open up that file, double click to open, and the Power Query Editor Navigator is gonna come up and it's gonna see those three worksheets here. I don't wanna select them individually, I don't wanna do that. I just wanna select it where the folder icon is there. I'm selecting the whole file, even though it has this folder icon, I'm selecting the whole file, but click Transform Data. That brings it into the Power Query Editor and all I need to do is select these two columns. I don't need the rest of the columns, this, this other metadata. Press Shift, select those two columns, right click and remove other columns. And we're gonna click this particular icon, the double headed arrow to expand. If I click on the blank space in each of these, you can see that the table is there for each of those worksheets. Click on my double arrow icon here to expand my table. I don't need to use the original column as a prefix. Click OK. And now we have the tables all combined together. So I did need to do some transformation on, the, on this particular set of data. First, I'm gonna demote these headers because I want generic headers for uh, this column, this first row here, or my header row. So I'm gonna use, use headers as first row. So I have these generic, generic headers. Then I'm gonna get rid of these nulls. And I'm gonna get rid of these nulls. And the one thing that happens when I get rid of these nulls is I'll, I'll lose my Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. And this is okay in a way because the unpivot for these columns, it's smaller. So we have a Q1 to Q4, so it's easier to remember. remember. If there are more multiple columns and we had need to unpivot those, I'll share another video later on that can deal with that using a custom function. But since this is a smaller table, it's a little bit easier to do it this way. So I'll get rid of the nulls here. Click on that, select, uncheck the null, click OK. Now we just have these particular headers, which I don't need anymore. So I'm gonna remove those. So I'm gonna remove rows, remove top rows, and I'll just remove the first row there. Click OK. And now I kind of have the data that I need. Now remember, I need to rename these. So I will call this name. And this one, I can call it items. And here, that, this one, the first one was Q1, so Q1. The second one is Q2. This is Q3. And the third one, or the fourth one, is Q4. Double click that, Q4, press enter. We can go back. Now I need to unpivot these four Q1 to Q4 columns. Select this, press the shift key, select that one, that column. Right click, unpivot other columns, and now we have our values here. So the only thing I need to change here now is change that attribute to say quarters. So that's the correct header field for that. And click close and load. And I have my table. And this combined those worksheets together and also did some transformation. It was a smaller table, so it's a little bit easier in terms of the column sizes. So we could unpivot those. Now, if we needed to add another tab to it and it had the same format, it'd be pretty easy to refresh this. So let's try to see what happens if we add it. So I'm gonna add another tab to this. So I opened up my file here where I have my three tabs, John, Jane, Jay Sheree, and I'm going to put in another tab here, Sam. So 
let's just move this one. I'll make a copy and move it over to that particular workbook. So now we've got Sam here, and and we can put Sam in the first place or the third or the last tab. But and it's probably better to put it last because you think if you think left or right, it'll be the last one. Let's close these files. Click click close. And click close. And here we have our three here. I'm gonna right click refresh, and let's see if Sam shows up at the bottom. And yes, Sam does. And this is a smaller table that it's coming from Q1 to Q4. So, and we could do it this way because. The table is a little bit smaller, but the format is always going to be the same. So if it's something where you expect the same format and you're just adding tabs to it, maybe it's going to be people or organizations, but it all can follow the same format. You can probably use this as a template and keep refreshing it when you add new tabs. And that's how you can combine and unpivot data in your file. Using Power Query to combine and transform your data is one of those great solutions that Microsoft provided for us. It makes it less of a burden to do simple yet reoccurring repetitive tasks. And it also can get future-proof because if you set it up correctly, all you need to do is click a button and any new additions to your file get automatically taken care of. And that's the power of Power Query. So to see more videos, click the banner at the end.